So, welcome to how to make an alien chest burster. That's right, you heard me. If you'd like to walk around for Halloween with the famous chest burster bursting out of your chest like the first alien movie and subsequent other movies, then I'm going to show you how to do it. First, let's just go over the ingredients for said device. You need a white cat. No. You need hot glue gun, a bottle of smart water because this bottle is the perfect size and what we're going to do is take your hot glue gun, don't forget to buy backups, a little bit of duct tape to affix it to your shirt. worth of high gloss paint not the red the reds regular but you don't want glossy blood maybe you do that might be kind of cool so that's all you need for starting out but you also need a regular plain white shirt one key ingredient that I left out is the use of aluminum foil which you will use to mold the shape of the alien chest burster onto your smart water bottle now if you have no sculpting skills at all and are not that great of an artist try to follow along and do the best you can i've drawn the alien a lot so i kind of have it in my head on how to do it if not, if you don't have it in your head, I would suggest either getting a, a pad or a laptop and pulling up a picture of the chest burster or some drawings of it to follow along that way. All right? So you know you're, you're sure that it's, and you want it center because trust me, I've worn, this is like my fifth alien chest burster and trust me, I had it off center the first time I made it and it drove me nuts. So all night I kept trying to adjust it and it didn't matter. It kept going over to the side. And uh, there you go. Now you've got a shirt with a bursted hole. And you see about that size? That's about the size you want so it grips that bottle. As you can see, if I was infested by a an alien species that resembled water bottles and it bursted from my chest, that's about the same hole it would make, okay? First thing you wanna do, you have your bottle here, you have your duct tape, you have your aluminum foil, and you're just gonna take some aluminum foil and start to sculpt the alien chest burster. So, one of the best ways to do that just go about halfway on the bottle so this foil is there right and once it's there you take your duct tape and you're going to fix that on the bottle so your sculpture doesn't move it's there on the bottle and you're going to use the nods uh, the nozzle mouthpiece and cap as a strength point to sculpt your head around right so all right and the interesting thing about aluminum foil is once you have that first piece taped on there, you don't have to, you can, but you don't really have to get that second piece taped on because the way it molds into itself, it just tends to kind of not be a problem. So, all right, so now you're starting to make this, this alien head 
chest burster, if you can fathom that. So at this point, I've used about two glue sticks. And is what you want to do is keep it in one orientation for a bit. And then I'm letting it dry right now, and I'm going to switch it to the top and then the bottom and then each side and because this is essentially what I would call the the top orientation and everything is going to want to tend to drip down and that's that's how you layer your glue so when you're done it has so many layers no one can really see the drip pattern and it you know and the durability of it, nobody really understands how you even made it, so that's kind of cool. These are the different layers of hot glue, and you can essentially sculpt and paint with the hot glue gun like a tool, and you, you run your lines. And the trick is not to get too thick. See that thick line there? It's not perfect, but that's a lot of buildup, so it's what you do is you make smaller lines so they don't have weight and drip off. And then you work four sides of it. So, and then the, that part too, the, the face. So, you try to make those little hollow eye socket type things that they have and their little striations. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be movie prop. Well, I guess I'll just, there's, that's a mistake, but that's cool. It doesn't have to be movie prop accurate. The fact is, if you have this thing coming out of your chest at a party with blood on your shirt and the, chest, the shirt's kind of being pulled out, people get it and it, it's cool. So that's, I guess, phase one is the sculpture. And that's hot glue, aluminum foil, some duct tape, and a smart water water bottle and honestly this one's a bit heavy so as far as like a suspension system I am probably going to cut it about there so it's not so heavy to where it you know you don't want a drooping chest burster you want your chest burster right there so we're gonna paint it next and then we're going to affix it to the shirt I'm in the painting phase here and you know again I'm using a little workbench here to hold it upright. I highly recommend you do that. Now for a painting kind of trough if you will, you just take some aluminum foil and make a little bowl out of it and then you can stir your paint. So I'm mixing about probably four parts of green with one part of black. I'm getting this really dark green. And I'm using a wide sponge type brush and I'm wetting it a little bit. And what that does is it, it really lets that paint liquefy to get down in there in the cracks of the, of the alien. So, See, and there as I'm painting it, you can see the shapes that I made with the, with the hot glue gun. So, you know, so far I've spent two and a half hours on this. So it's probably going to take me less than another hour to paint. And then, you know, maybe a half an hour to rig it to the shirt. So, it's basically your last minute costume that is going to have a lot of impact at a party because you can see once I start painting it how the hot glue just really creates an organic shape of, of that alien chest burster. You can see how the paint is seeping into those ridges and you see the mouth there. I made out of aluminum foil and I cut teeth kind of how you would make a paper doll and then unfolded it and stuck it on there 
And, you know, there again, does this have to be perfect? You know, it does not have to be perfect. It is what it is. And I did buy a gloss paint, so hopefully it's going to maintain that gloss look throughout because you want it to look wet like it just came out of your body all nasty.